Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Purpose Driven Life. Uh, I'm B.A. Ingram, and I'm grateful and thankful to be here with you. I know it seems like, man, things has been rolling. I don't know about you, but I turned around and looked up, and here it is. We're already in March, and after all of the, you know, beginning months have gone by, people have kind of wound down from all the celebration that they did at the beginning of the year and all of the planning and all the stuff that they've been doing. Hopefully that desire, hopefully uh, all of that zeal hasn't worn off and you're still excited and you're still ready and you're still ready to move forth and do some things. So I'm asking the question, what do you want to do in 2022? Because as you can tell, time is waiting on no one. Time is moving. And here it is when we're into the third month of the new year. And most of us set out, many of you have set out and you planned out your year and you planned out what you wanted to do. You sat down with your pens and your notepads and your favorite beverage and you got in touch with God and you went over your goals and you looked at what you wanted to do in this upcoming year and go to work on it. And every week I ask, what's your goals? What you working on? What's happening? And I get very few people who actually share them. So I don't know how many of you are doing uh, on your goals and how many of you are doing on what you set out to do and accomplish this year. Yet for so many people, uh, the goals are going to disappear. This is statistically the time and the month to where people start to take the nosedive concerning what they plan to do, what they set out to do. It's not happening. It's not taking place. They've gone in another direction. They didn't get it done. All of those piles of papers that they had on their desk and planners that they wrote on and sticky notes that they put up and pictures that they put all around the place on all the things that was going to happen and take place this year. This is the month normally at the end of February, the beginning of March, where people start pulling that stuff down and throwing it away and checking it off that it got done or didn't get done, never to be seen again. And for most people, they go right back into the rut of where they came out. But instead of asking you about how your goals are doing and what you've set out to do in 2022, whether or not it's working for you or it's not working for you, you know, I like to try to get practical help and, and workable strategies and principles that you can do some things with, that you can put some things in place and implement some things. So I like to know, the three things that you're going to do every day or every week, what habits and routines that you're going to commit to this year. And I'm going to help you with that doing this broadcast. So if you stay with me, I'm going to give you some help to set some daily and weekly habits and routines, not so much goals because people set goals, as I said before, and without a consistent habit, without a regular routine, without consistent effort and energy. Most of those goals just don't get accomplished. Let's just be real. You can just speak to your own life, the things that you've written down, the things that you want to achieve. Many of them don't happen and don't come to pass because your daily and weekly habits and routines are not at a place to where you're committed enough to them to remain consistent enough to getting them done. Am I helping anybody so far? If you hear me out there, put a one up and says, I'm hearing you. Because I want you to pay attention. I want this to be helpful. I want this to be practical. Because here's the thing, guys. If you don't take action, nothing will change. You can plan and plan and plan and plan until you are tired of planning. And some of you are over planning procrastinators. You use planning as a means of procrastinating what you really don't want to do, what you really don't want to take action on. And if you don't take action, nothing is going to change. You have to take action and not just any action because even action is not quite enough because Many people aren't trained and consistent enough to take the right actions or know the right actions to take. Action has to be and needs to be consistently repeated action. Your efforts have to be consistent and repetitive, and it has to take action toward achieving the thing that you have set out to do and to accomplish. And here is why 
daily habits and daily routines and weekly habits and re- weekly routines help you take action, help you to maintain consistency. My wife teases me all the time because she can pretty much predict what I'm doing when on what day because she knows I am. She calls me a creature of habit. I have a routine and it's because of those habits and it's because of those routines I get much accomplished, not just busy work for the sake of being busy, but I get the things accomplished that I've set out to do because I have habits and routines. So you want to know what the key is? Say, I want to know what the key is. Help me with the key because I need this in my life. If that's you and you want to know what the key is and you need help with the key, put a key in the chat. I want you to put a key up there because I want to know that you're paying attention. I want to know that you're here. Invite somebody right now who you know need this help, who you know needs more consistency in their life needs a routine, needs a habit. Because if we don't understand that, then all the great lofty goals that we set and that we put in place will just remain dreams. A goal still on paper is a dream. Did you get that? A goal that's still on paper, that's still in the mind, is is just a dream. It's not going to happen. It's not going to just come to pass by osmosis if there's no consistent effort, action, and energy toward it. Many years ago, I learned a little secret. You know, remember we all kind of look in the mirror when we're ready to go out to that party at the end of the year, the beginning of the year, and we put on our favorite suit or our favorite dress, and sometimes it's a little snug, don't fit quite right, we, we're bulging in places, we think, oh my goodness, I need to do something about this, and we says, well, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take five pounds off of this here to this year, or, you know, I'm going to set a goal that I'm going to use X amount of pounds, you know, by this time next year or by the end of the year, whatever the case may be, and those five pounds you want to say goodbye to won't budge and don't budge if you don't take action. In fact, without action, the, those little guys just might hang out and multiply a few times. They might invite over a few friends. How many of you know what I'm talking about? If we, if, we don't, if we don't watch what we eat, if we don't get a little exercise in there, if we don't do some things action-wise, then those five pounds we thought we were going to say goodbye to wind up inviting a few fellas over and before you know it, we look at the scale toward the end of the year and we done, we done got a few more happy friends. How many you know what I'm talking about? That business idea that you want, that plan that you want to start that business, it won't open up if you don't take action. If you don't sit down and put the plan together and then if you don't sit down and start structuring how you want the business to look and what you want the business to be, if you don't put the financial things in place that you need to put in place, opening up a bank account, getting, you know, your EIN number, incorporating or making an LLC or whatever you want it to do, those things won't happen if you don't take action. In fact, without that action, that vision will never get off the ground. It will just continually just be a vision that you have a dream that you have that goes nowhere. And that's what a goal still on paper is, still in your mind is, that never has any action to it, is still a dream. That new job or that new career that you want, it won't manifest if you don't take action to get up and to apply for it. If you don't get the skills necessary to qualify for the position. In fact, without any action, you'll just stay stuck right where you are in the job that you're in, complaining, murmuring, hoping and wishing for better. Why? Because every action is not enough in and of itself. It needs to be consistent. It needs to be repeated action toward achieving those goals. Because we all do some things. We all find ourselves busy doing some things. Don't don't always or necessarily equate to what it is we want to accomplish. And many people think just because they're busy, they're accomplishing something. Well, you might be accomplishing wearing yourself out. You might be accomplishing getting tired. You might be accomplishing just chasing your tail. 
but you haven't accomplished what you want to or what you need to if that thing is still sitting there and it's still a dream and it's not a reality yet. Am I making sense? Here's the key. You ready for the key? You all put the key up there and you said you're ready for the key. The key is establishing habits and routines that make the achievement of those goals a conclusion. In other words, establishing habits and routines, work patterns, things that you're going to do, actions that you're going to take that actually help you achieve what the end goal is, what the end result is. So back to three points that I mentioned earlier, if it's a weight loss goal, then actually having a regular habit and regular routines that contribute to taking off some weight because it's not so much about starving yourself to death, not eating because how many people say, well, oh, I'm going to lose weight. So I'm going to go on a diet this year. Diets don't work. Scientists have already proven that doctors have already proven that diets don't work. It's about what a lifestyle, a habit of regular consistently eating the right things and putting the right nutrients in you. Truth be told, you can eat as much as you want to if you're eating the proper foods. Most people who are bodybuilders and who work out and who are athletes eat six to seven to 12. I read, I read the, and I follow um, the rocks routine. This guy eats seven to 12 meals a day, but he is what he's active. He is busy. He has a habit. He has a routine. He, uh, he is doing things to make his goals come to pass. So if you want your goals to come to pass, if you want your dreams and visions to come to reality, then you have to start now establishing habits and routines that help you achieve those saying, I want to change. And then you're not changing the behavior or the patterns or the mindsets that keep you stuck. There's no change coming for you. It's not just going to happen because you wish it because you hope it because you dream it. We all wish that that was the case. We could just think about it and wish it and boom, it happens. But that's not how it works in the real world. That's the fairy tale world. That's Disney, but that's not the real world. So here's three daily habits and weekly habits and routines to help you stay committed to whatever it is you set out to do in 2022. Because I don't want to keep using the word goals. Okay. I strike the words goals. Think about what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, what you want to achieve this year into next year, into the year after. Here's three daily and weekly habits and routines that I believe will help you stay committed to achieving whatever it is you want to see accomplished in 2022. And if you work with me, and you cooperate with me when I ask you what your goals are every week, when I ask you what you're working on every week, I will keep you accountable. I will hold you accountable. I will check in with you. I will check up with you. I will see how you're going and how you're working toward that. This is why every week I post that on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I post a Monday. Tell me what you're going to work on this week. Wednesday, Tell me how you're doing toward those goals. And then on Friday, give me the win report. Let me know how you did concerning those goals. But here are the three things I'm going to give you that are going to be helpful to you if you do them. Remember, it is about what? Consistent, repeatable actions. Say that. Consistent, repeatable actions, which means I have to have a routine. I have to have habits. I have to do this regularly and consistently if I want to see the results I desire to see. Here's number one, get laser focused. These are very simple, but for many people, these are very challenging as well. Get laser focused. What do I mean by that? I mean, you have to have your sight so set on what it is you want to do, what it is you want to accomplish, what it is you want to achieve. You let nothing rob you from that. Oftentimes what happens when people set out to do something, they get distracted. They get sidetracked. Somebody said life is going to be life. 
here's one of the reasons why it's challenging for many people to work with me because I am laser focused and I help them get laser focused. I don't tolerate shiftiness and shaftiness and up and down and roller coastering because you can't get to the destination with all those detours. Your life has been detoured enough. It should be time out for detours, time to get on the straight and the now and get there. And the only way that you can is get laser focused, which means you can't hang out all the time with all your friends who want to party and jack off and slack off and do all the stuff that they want to do if they're not accomplishing their life goals as well. You can't spend a lot of time binging out on TV and hanging out at the mall and doing all the superficial things. I'm not saying you can't do those things at all. But when you have a goal in mind, when you have something you want to achieve and you want to accomplish, you got to get laser focused. You got to get directed. You got to get serious about what it is you want to see happen, or it's going to take you longer than you want, longer than necessary, longer than it should have if you're just all over the place. If everything distracts you, if every time something in life happens to you, it takes you away and takes you out of bounds and just gets you all discombobulated to where you can't focus, where you can't think, where you can't do, where you can't achieve, then it's going to be tough for you to get where you need to go and do what it is you need to do. What do you want to do in 2022? It's going to require, number one, getting laser focused, getting so focused in on that thing that you don't let anything deter you and distract you. That doesn't mean that you just head down, head in the sand, ignoring everything and everybody around you. You still have to do the family things. You still have to do the spousal things. You still have to do the friend things. You still have to do the things that you need to do in order to maintain consistent networks and environments. I'm not saying you just go hide in a hole and get it done and then you come out when everything is accomplished. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you're focused on that so you know how much time You can afford to do those things and you don't overindulge in those because you got to get back to the plan. You got to get back to the goal. You got to get back to what's important. You got to get back to doing what it is you need to do. All right. So you got that so far. Number one, get laser focus, sharpen that focus to where you see that end result like tunnel vision. You see the end of the line. So it doesn't matter what's going on on the left and the right. You can take that. You can handle that. You can bounce off of that stuff like guardrails because you're focused. When I was setting out to do any of the things in my life that I've been able to do and blessed to achieve, life hit me. I had strokes. I had, you know, you name it. I had financial issues. I had pink notices and red notices and blue notices coming. All types of stuff was going on. But the goal was in mind because I know once I got to the goal, Those other stuff, I'll be able to handle. Those other stuff, I'll be able to take care of. The bills that was past due, I'll be able to pay it. Once I got my skills set down and got the career that I wanted to get and start making the money that I wanted to get, I had the money to pay the bills. So I didn't worry about those notices. Then I said, when I get the money, I'll handle them. I'll take care of them. Why? Because life is going to happen. Focus allows you to bounce off of those things and keep moving and keep going in the direction that you want to go. Okay? So... Yes, that's right. Have balance. You can have balance. But within that balance, you have to understand that that balance also requires you to be at a place to where you understand what balance is. Because many people don't really understand what balance is. Because we can become so laser focused on our goals, we're actually imbalanced. We don't have enough other things in our life that bring us the joy that we need when we need it, that bring us the comfort when we need when we need it, that bring us the peace that we need because we are so laser focused on what we're doing. We don't have those other things in our life to balance us out so that our focus doesn't become only our focus because some people become so laser focused that that's all their focus is on. And if it's not on that, and anything else that they want to add or do, they feel some kind of way. That's not balance. Balance is I can still do all the things equally and still maintain my focus. So number two, practice consistency. Consistency is a big thing in the life of many people because many people are not consistent. They're not consistent at doing anything, any length of time, regularly and committedly. Practicing consistency means I know what I'm laser focused on. 
so I consistently do the things that I need to do in order to help me get there. I understand that what I need to accomplish requires a certain level of effort and energy. And so I have to practice that consistently. I have to do that regularly. That's a part of my habits. That's a part of my routine. That's a part of me training my mind and my body and my soul to get in line with what it is I want to achieve and want to accomplish. Most people are up and down, in and out, all over the place. They're not consistent. Statistically, 21 days or 28 days, well, if you believe it or you don't believe it, they say it takes that amount of time to develop a habit. Some folks don't fit into that. Some folks need more working toward it. Some folks need more practicing of it. Setting the time where in 21 days I'm going to get consistent. You don't really know that yet until you have a life of consistency until you can look back and see a pattern of consistent effort and energy without any. And here's a key. Here's an indicator. Take any task that you have set out to do or take any thing that you have set out to do that you enjoy doing and check the level of consistency as to whether or not you've missed a day here or there. You missed a few days here or there. You know how I determine my level of consistency. For me, the greatest thing that helps me every day, and I set a reminder every day, sometime it's at the beginning of the day, which may be at 12.01 midnight, 1 a.m. It doesn't matter. It's the next day. I have a reminder set up to read the Bible app. This is just me. That, and not that I'm ever going to forget to read the Bible. I said it because it helps me to maintain consistency. Because when I look at the statistics that they give me, it tells me the number of days I have consistently done it. It tells me the number of days I have consistently performed it. Here's why I put things in my calendar, on my schedule, on my notification list. Because it tells me consistently how often I have done that thing. And when you are in a place to where you need to practice consistency, use whatever tools and methods and means that you can to help you achieve it. If you have to set a daily reminder, an hourly reminder, a weekly reminder, so that you consistently remember to do it, do it. Because consistency is the key to helping you remain laser focused and remaining laser focused is the key to helping you achieve what it is you have committed to this year and the years to come. Make sense? So practice consistency. That is going to help you tremendously if you can do that. Becoming that creature of habit, becoming that person who has a regular scheduled routine. Put it down on the calendar. Put it in your phone, set a reminder. I'm going to do this every day or every other day because that's what it requires or once a week because that's what it requires or a couple times a month because that's what it requires. Only you know what it requires from you. So you set it based upon you, not based upon someone else. Okay. That was number two. Number three, be or become accountable. Most often, People don't want to become accountable because it allows them to slip in and slip under the radar because no one's really watching you but you. No one's really checking in on you but you. No one's really pulling your collar but you. Here's why I said what I said earlier about posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, checking in. Because being accountable and being held accountable helps you to practice consistency because when you're not being accountable, someone can bring you into alignment. Someone can check you and say, hey, I noticed you haven't done this in, the, in a couple of days. I noticed you haven't been around in a few days. Why is that? I'm holding them accountable so that they can practice consistency, so that they can remain focused on what it is they said they wanted to achieve, what it is they said they wanted to accomplish, what it is they said they wanted to come to pass in their life. 
I'm holding them accountable to that. And we all need someone that can hold us accountable, especially if we're not good at holding ourselves accountable. We need that accountability partner. We need somebody that can jack us when we need to be jacked. We need somebody to encourage us when we need to be encouraged. So the three things, what are they? The three daily or weekly habits and routines that's going to help you stay committed to accomplishing whatever it is you want to accomplish this year, 2022 and beyond. Number one, get laser focus. Number two, practice consistency. And number three, become accountable. Become accountable. And if I'm asking a question, it's because I'm trying to hold you accountable because you said something you wanted to do. You said something you wanted to accomplish. You spoke to me about something you wanted to see to come to pass in your life. So if I tag you, if I ask you a question, that's me holding you accountable. And you have to become accountable if you're going to accomplish it. If not, you just want to do what you want to do. Let it be what it's going to be. Then ask yourself, how is that working out? How is that really working out for me? Am I getting where I need to get? Am I doing what I need to do? Am I having what I need to have? All right. How is that so far? Everybody good? So don't underestimate what you can do in a year's time. Don't underestimate what you can do in a month's time. Don't underestimate what you can do in six months time. You could, if you don't overthink it, I want to say don't think it, but you got to think a little bit. But if you don't overthink it, you can accomplish some great things in a short amount of time, especially if you do these three things that I've just mentioned. You could quite possibly blow your own mind with what you do and what you're capable of doing and what you will do and accomplish when you do these things. Because truth be told, you're more capable or you're capable of way more than you think. Many people have short-sighted themselves. You're more capable than, capable than what you think. And it's time that you tap into that greatness that makes the rest of your time here on earth totally awesome and totally just tremendous. You can begin enjoying the life that you want having the life that you want, doing what you want to do in life. If you tap into the greatness that already lives on the inside of you and realize and understand that you're more capable than you give yourself credit. Okay. So listen, don't wait. You, tomorrow's not promised. So you don't got to wait. You got to wait another month, another day, another year, another 10 years. Don't wait. Start right now. Say that to yourself. I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going to start right now because it's not about, listen, it's not about whether you can or you can't because most people say, well, I can't do this or I think I can do this. It's not about that. It's not about whether you can or whether you can't. It's about whether you will or whether you won't. See, when we, we take the can out, it comes down to our will. It's really whether I'm willing to, or I'm not willing to, I'm either willing to do it and get it done or I'm, I'm just not. And unfortunately, some people just like that little baby. No, no, no. I don't want to do it. 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 That's what they're saying on the inside. That's what their actions say. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. When you ask them, you want some help? No, nah, I do, but I really don't because I don't want to put in the work. I don't want to put in the effort. And it's not that they can't, it's that they won't. So you're going to be the person this year, the next year, the year after this, that says, I will, or keep saying, I won't. I won't do this. Because it's not that you can't. It's not that you're incapable. You're more capable than you think. You're more capable than you believe. It's not that you can't. You have everything that you need to start. You have everything that you need to begin. You have everything that you need to get moving. I'm not saying finish. I'm not saying get to the finish line. But you have everything you need right now to start, and that is the willingness to want to do. That's the simple thing. It's not difficult. It's not challenging. You don't need money. You don't need any other stuff that you think you need to just get started. And this is why so many people don't because they think I got to have all this stuff. No, you don't. You have to just have a willingness and you have to be willing to do. So whether you believe it or not, whether you understand it or not, whether you subscribe to it or not, there is a purpose for your life. There is something that only you can do that God saw fit for you to do that you're on the earth right now to be able to do. 
You may have to take, and you have already taken several paths to get there to understand that. But if you keep digging, if you keep pressing, if you continue moving forward and then you ask for help and you get the right help, you can find where you were meant to be. You can get there quickly and you can start doing it today. You don't have to wait. So I hope this is helpful because if you're ready to begin, I'm ready to help you. You're going to be seeing some things this week into next week. March is my week to, of launch. We've been planning, the team and I, we've been preparing, we've been putting in a lot of work, a lot of effort behind the scenes to get some things done this month in March. And March is upon us and it got here so quick, it got here so fast. This is why I was shocked and I was surprised. But we are ready. We are ready. And we're ready and you're going to begin seeing opportunities come your way. And when these opportunities come your way, I don't want you to exempt yourself. I don't want you to say, I can't. I want you to say, I will. I don't want you to say, I won't. I want you to say, I'm in. Because the opportunities that are coming your way are to help you to get where you need to get. And if you're ready to begin living a purpose-driven life without wasting more of your time, without wasting more of your life trying to figure it out on your own, dredge it out on your own, we're going to be here to help you. We're going to be offering you opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. And all you got to do is say yes. All you got to do is say, I'm in. All you got to do is say, I'm ready because I want to see what I've been envisioning, what I've been dreaming of, what I've been, listen, all of my life hoping and wishing for. I'm ready for it now. We're going to be offering you help to help you minimize and even eliminate all of the trial and error and the struggle that you've had thus far trying to uncover and discover your passion and your purpose so that you can begin identifying with the life that you've been designed to live. All right. March came right in like a calm, you know, uh, spring breeze and it's here <laughs> and it's already upon us. And I looked up and I had, I had some things on my agenda that I had planned to get done. And, and thank God, because he is good and gracious. I was able to get there. I'm not all the way there yet. Still got a little more work to do, but I still got some time to do. And I believe that they're going to come to pass for me this year. And they're going to happen this year. And I'm working those and I'm working those diligently and consistently. I'm putting in that effort every day, every week. I got those habits. I got those routines in place. And I'm starting to see the results of what I said I was going to do and wrote down that I was going to accomplish. It's happening. And I want to see the same thing for you. So what do you want to do? and 2022 and beyond. What do you want to see? What do you want to accomplish? Only you know, but you can get some help with getting there. All right. So if you put some questions already in the comments, I'll go back through them and I'll address them after we're done. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I want to thank all you guys for being here with me. Appreciate you giving of your time and attention. Hopefully this has been helpful and useful to you. You'll find this broadcast in the replay area in a little bit. Once it's done, you can go back through it. So until next time, I want to encourage you to continue pursuing your passion for it will guide you to your purpose. This has been BA and I look forward to seeing you here again. So until then, I want you to take care and I'll talk with you again soon. So take care, guys. Be blessed. Have a blessed rest of the week. I look forward to seeing you. Take care. Have a blessed week. And remember, remain consistent. Get consistent. Get laser focused. Get consistent and become accountable. All right. Those are your three daily habits and weekly routines that you can work on and practice. So I hope this has been good, helpful, practical information for you. Take care and I'll see you next time. God bless and bye bye.